I have shown several types of SSDs with various formats and storage capacities and one of the best M.2 SSDs, the Samsung 980 Pro with 2TB of capacity. But today I'm going to show you a versatile M.2 SSD with potential. But first, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. M.2 SSDs have become the most important component for the performance of a computer, with impressive speeds and storage capacities for any need. These M.2 SSDs are small modules with a 2242 or 2280 format, which are mounted on the computer with a high-speed PCIe Express interface. This speed improves productivity when using a computer. This is the Western Digital PC SN520 NVMe M.2 SSD, an SSD with TLC technology that offers a balance between performance and efficiency. This M.2 module has a 2280 format with a length of 80 mm with a PCIe Express 3 interface that should have a sequential read speed of 1700 MB per second and a sequential write speed of 1300 megabytes per second. But I'm going to do a speed test of this M.2 SSD to prove the real speed. This SSD has two notches or keys on the connector that allows compatibility with M.2 slots that support M keys or B keys, thus making it compatible with different M.2 connectors. Although the SSD has a B and a M connection, the computer will only have either an M.2B connection or an M.2M connection, due to the position of the M.2 slot notch on the computer. The SSD M.2B connection uses the computer's SATA interface, which can reach a maximum speed of 500 megabytes per second, but the M.2M connection uses the computer's PCIe Express interface which can reach speeds between 1500 and 7000 megabytes per second. I'm going to do the test under the best conditions to see what is the maximum possible speed. You can see that the sequential read speed of this SSD was 1585 megabytes per second, almost the 1700 megabytes per second that the manufacturer says this SSD can reach but only 60% of the maximum possible speed of this PCIe Express 3 interface, but 1600 megabytes per second of read speed is good for any task you need to do on the computer. The result of the sequential write test was 486 megabytes per second, around 40% of the speed announced by the manufacturer, and 30% of the maximum speed it could have. Although it is below expectations, it still have a good speed for a normal computer. These were the results of sequential reading and writing tests under the best conditions, with 1.6 GB per second of file reading and 500 MB per second of file writing. But under normal computer use conditions, the speed will be lower. Although the test result is not the best for an M.2 SSD, the result is good for a normal computer. But this is not an SSD that I recommend for anyone who wants to have a very good computer. And you should choose an SSD with at least 1 terabyte of capacity. But now, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. And if you have any questions, write in the comments.